Hey guys, so I'm here today with uh, Brenton Mumford, also known as the Combat Wombat. He's fighting in Australia in Eternal in the Gold Coast. He's had two amazing uh, knockouts lately. One of them was a crazy spinning back heel kick. Things only come up to his hips. <laughs> oh my God, spinning back kick. But uh, today here, he's going to help me uh, demonstrate some fakes. Uh, so more fakes, guys, but fakes for strikers. Faking for strikers, the distance can change a little bit. I can, I can afford to get a little bit closer, but I can get reactions a little bit easier. Yeah, I don't have to make contact, is what I mean. So today, what I'm gonna teach you is just uh, the idea behind a fake. What is scary in a, in a fight is what, when, and how. What hit me, how did it hit me, and why did it hit me? Okay, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna fake with my hand. I'm gonna just use my hand, okay? So this is gonna be a fake. I'm gonna fake into the box where the head is. And this is going to draw a reaction for like a slip or like a, just a smaller reaction, but it's still a fake. Oh, just like that, okay? So that's my first fake. My second fake today, guys, is going to be with my leg. Okay, my hands are going to be stationary. They're going to do, not do, do too much moving, okay? That's how I'm going to fake with my feet. Okay, my hands don't move too much. Now I'm going to put them both together. So this is the best fake, in my opinion. Draws the biggest reaction because it has the most movement and it's the most erratic, okay? So that's the best fake, in my opinion. Okay, a fake can be anything. Okay, if I've been hurting somebody with low kicks all the fight, I've just been bashing their leg, the fear in the fight for them is their lead leg. It's in pain. So if I do this, that's going to create a reaction. So that's how a fake generally happens. Okay, you can start the fight off by doing this, but if there's nothing to instigate a reaction, as in there's, there's been no prior fear, I haven't been hitting with the same thing, it's a little bit harder to get that reaction, okay? So my advice is if you want to sell a decent fake, hit them with what you're going to fake with. So if I have an amazing fast jab and I keep hitting Brendan with my jab, boom, and he can't react to it, he can't deal with it, it's going to make my fake that much better. Okay? It can be for anything. There's no rule to a fake except the speed. All right? It has to be exactly the same. So if my jab movement is this, boom. My fake has to be exactly like that, okay? Like I said in my previous video, this is my fake range, okay? If I'm not here, and I'm here, and I fake and Brenton reacts with a punch, boom, I'm going to get hit. Alrighty guys, so that's just touching on the uh, foundation of a fake. So we'd like to thank uh, Brenton for being here today to demonstrate and uh, we'll see you guys next time.